a severe geomagnetic storm watch. This is the first time this has been issued in nearly 20 years from the National Weather Service's Space Weather Prediction Center. So what does this mean for us? A cosmic light show of epic proportions is headed straight for planet Earth this Friday night. We're talking northern lights bursting across the sky in a dazzling spectacle not seen on this scale in nearly 20 years. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has issued a rare, severe geomagnetic storm watch, the first since January 2005, as a powerful wave of charged particles ejected from the surface of the sun barrels toward us. Get ready for the northern lights to put on a brilliantly colorful performance across an extraordinarily wide swath of North America starting Friday and lasting through the weekend. This severe solar storm promises to supercharge the auroras, with vibrant curtains of green, red, blue, and purple light potentially visible from states as far south as Alabama and Northern California. If you've ever dreamed of witnessing this celestial phenomenon up close, now is your chance. But this cosmic spectacle is just the jaw-dropping highlight of a larger incoming wave of turbulent space weather headed our way. You've probably seen photos or videos of the ethereal glow of auroras before. But do you know what causes this celestial phenomenon? A geomagnetic storm occurs when clouds of charged particles and magnetic fields ejected from the sun interact with Earth's magnetic field and upper atmosphere. As these energized particles stream down toward the poles, they collide with gases in the uppermost atmosphere, releasing the bursts of colored light we know as the aurora borealis in dazzling hues of green, red, blue, and purple. While treated as a visual delight for stargazers and photographers like yourself, severe geomagnetic storms can also potentially wreak havoc on systems and infrastructure you rely on every day. Things like power grids, GPS, satellite communications, and more by inducing electrical currents. One of the most damaging space weather events on record was the March 1989 geomagnetic storm, which caused a blackout affecting over 6 million people in Quebec, Canada for nine hours. So what cosmic forces are aligning to create this incoming tempest? It starts with a gigantic sunspot region that has been erupting violently since May 8th, producing explosive solar flares, intense bursts of radiation, while also ejecting massive clouds of solar plasma and magnetic fields known as coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. At least five of these CMEs from the last few days appear to be directed squarely at planet Earth. This sunspot itself is a true behemoth, measuring some 124,000 miles across, over 16 times the entire width of our planet. Experts say some of the eruptions from this region have been so energetic that their CME clouds are even catching up to earlier ones, increasing the potential impacts when they reach us starting as early as 8 p.m. Eastern Time Friday. Based on the initial analysis of these observations, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has categorized this incoming celestial maelstrom as a G4 on the geomagnetic storm scale from G1 to G5, while not expected to reach the absolute maximum G5 extreme status that ranks among the most potent solar events, a G4 or severe geomagnetic storm still packs a serious punch and prompts major preparedness efforts. Sean Dahl, a meteorologist at NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, underscored the rarity and intensity by stating, this is an unusual event. We haven't seen this in a long time. We're really buckling down here. Indeed, there have been just three other severe G4 storms observed during the entire current solar cycle that began in late 2019. But the potential upside of this incoming cosmic tempest is the chance for you to witness one of the most dazzling northern lights displays in decades stretching across an extraordinarily wide region. If the forecast verifies, auroras could be visible from an oval extending as far south as Alabama and Northern California on Friday night through the weekend. Weather permitting, of course. To give you a sense of just how expansive and rare this visibility zone could be, under normal conditions, the aurora oval indicating the best viewing areas for minor G, one geomagnetic storms is typically limited to Alaska, Northern Canada, and parts of the Northern US states, like Minnesota or Maine. But this severe G4 event could triple or even quadruple that area pushing the dancing lights deep into the continental United States. So what kind of cosmic show can you expect if fortune has you located inside this auroral oval? Get ready for a dazzling dance of vibrant greens, reds, blues, and purples painting the night sky as those charged particles interact with different gases in the upper atmosphere. You may see diffuse glows or brilliant rays arcing across the heavens, perhaps even eerily stratified formations that seem to defy gravity's pull on the shimmering curtains of light. The most impressive auroral displays typically occur from around local midnight through sunrise, when the energetic oval is facing most directly toward the sun. 
So be prepared to bundle up and safely brave the late night cold in your attempt to catch Mother Nature's celestial ballet, as the lights can be sporadic and fleeting in their appearance. Of course, for most of you, having the chance to witness this incredible spectacle up close will be the true prize and priority. But it's important to understand severe space weather events like this can potentially impact a variety of technologies we rely on here on Earth too, which is why government science agencies like NOAA have alerted satellite operators, power grid managers, and others to prepare contingency plans for possible disruptions or damage. However, experts stress there is no need for public alarm about this storm's effects. The last time a maximum level G5 extreme geomagnetic storm lashed, the planet was back in October 2003, causing impacts like radio blackouts, power grid disturbances, and even knocking some satellites offline temporarily in certain areas. While forecasters cannot entirely rule out a similar worst-case scenario this time around, constantly improving data from NASA spacecraft strategically positioned to monitor these storms will allow them to refine predictions on the incoming wave's true intensity as it approaches to within a million miles of Earth. So keep your eyes on the sky this Friday night through the weekend for an auroral display unlike anything you've likely witnessed before, lighting up the heavens across an extraordinarily wide span of the United States and Canada. This severe geomagnetic storm serves as a stark reminder of our planet's deep cosmic connection to the very star that gives us life, the ever-active sun. While experts closely monitor the incoming storm's impacts from space, you'll want to appreciate any auroral shows safely from the ground, ideally viewing from areas away from light pollution. An event of this rarity and scale is an unforgettable spectacle, so take a moment to look up and let the awesome beauty of our cosmos move you from a respectful distance.